Okay, yeah. I'm Dr. Debbie Chandler. I'm an anesthesiologist, and I'm also the Associate Dean for Diversity and Student Affairs. Um, my story is pretty quite intense, and but I will try to keep it as short as possible. So I went to medical school in Haiti, and I did also my residency in Haiti, and did a fellowship in Strasbourg, um, um, France. And then after that, I went back to Haiti to practice. I was already the um, director for OB Anesthesia in my country. However, because of the political instability, I have to leave and come to the United States with my two kids. And um, I remember I arrived in the United States uh, in January. And in February, I already started studying for my step one. And um, in, uh, I believe in September, I enrolled into a Kaplan course. And then um, who they helped me to study and to get um, ready to take my part one step um, USMLE. And uh, I failed. I failed the first time. And, but I didn't have option because I have two kids and I needed, my dream was always to become a physician, an anesthesiologist, and I have two kids. I, I, I didn't accept any failure. So I went back again, restart studying, and then finally I, I made it. I passed my step one, and then, um, then I passed all my exam, and I applied um, in several residency program, uh, had interviews, and then I matched in Shreveport, Louisiana in 2006. And since then I've been here. Um, my dream was always to go back to, um, to Miami to practice. However, um, they really welcomed me in Shreveport. I felt after four years, Shreveport was home. So I stayed and um, since 2010, have been uh, moving up from starting being a clinical director for the Department of Anesthesiology. I was also the vice chair for the Department of Anesthesiology. And um, my chair uh, and my, um, the chancellor um, promoted me to be the dean for um, diversity affair. And then two years after, now I'm not only the dean for diversity affair, but I'm also the dean for student affair. So I've been very, welcome here and um, and I feel like Shreveport now is home. I only go to um, Miami only to visit family but I, I can say that I'm a successful woman here in Shreveport. So anesthesiology I remember when I told my mom back in the day I wanted to be an anesthesiologist and she has that misconception she said why do you want to be an anesthesiologist because back in the day the nurses are the one who used to um, provide anesthesia and I have to um, inform my mom what is an anesthesiologist here um, is and um, I told my mom now we can also it's a, there's an opportunity for doctors to be anesthesiologists and um, what I love about anesthesiologists is to care about the patient and they are usually anxious the first person who get in touch, who get in contact with a patient going to surgery is the anesthesiologist. So your role is to reassure them that everything will be fine, everything will be okay, we got this. And I think this is the part I like the most in, um, in anesthesiology. Then moving on, we put the patient to sleep and then we take care of the patient during the entire surgery. Um, usually we are the liaison between the surgeon and the, and the surgery itself because we are the one who will tell the surgeon, hey, your patient is not doing well, maybe there's something that you're doing is not good for the patient. So we are the one we have to keep communicating with the surgeon. Without an anesthesiologist, you can have you can have surgery, and surgeon cannot do a surgery by themselves. And so this is basically uh, my everyday um, work. And but now because I'm in the academia, um, I take care also of my medical student. I call them my babies, and um, so they will come and ask me all kind of advice how to become a successful. Um, anesthesiologist or successful doctor. Um, so I'm there for them and I really love to, to, to be a mentor and to be um, there for them. So I remember that um, the first, I just became the Dean for Student Affairs 
and my first talk was about to talk about my journey. And um, so right after my talk, um, one of the medical students came in my office and said, Dr. Chandler, you are such an inspiration for, for me. Um, let me tell you what I've been going through. And I was very proud that she reached out to me and said, you know, I really admire you because you overcome so many things. Um, because I told them I didn't know how to speak English. I learned to speak English here in 2006. My primary language is French and Creole. And, um, but it didn't stop me. And even the way I took my, my step exam, because I'm from a European country, we do essay. We don't do um, question, um, type question. Um, therefore, it was also an adaptation for me to learn how to uh, answer those um, type of questions. So um, they come and they, f they find, you know, and I always um, talk to them about never give up. I always talk to them, if there's one thing I need from you, it's resilience. You will fall, but you will come back. Never give up. And um, this is why I am always um, talk to my medical student. The challenge for me um, personally, it was in Haiti, I was already the chief of OB in anesthesia in my country. I was training the resident and then coming back here and start from the bottom because now people were training me. And I found myself having resident training me and I used to train them. So it, I have to put myself in a very humble um, situation and learn from them. Even though I knew already, I, I trained in France, however, I had to follow the chain of command. They were here in the United States, my upper level. Um, therefore, that was the most challenge that I have to, re, to restart over my residency in anesthesia. Um, however, um, like I said, I put myself, I was very humble, and I think people appreciate um, the way I was, and, and uh, they, I've, I've been doing great in Shreveport, Louisiana. It was really long for me because um, I, I, I started medical school in Haiti. I did my specialization in Haiti, that already putting you at um, eight years right there. And then I did a specialization in France, went back to Haiti to practice. Like I said, I was the um, director of OB anesthesia in my country, that putting you already in nine years. So I came in the United States and then restart over again, and then um, did again a residency in anesthesia here in Shreveport. So average, I would say, it took me about 15 years, 16 years to be where I am today. And monetary aspect, I cannot complain. Um, anesthesiologists are doing very well in the country, and I think we are, um, number six or seven, um, the top paid in the United States. So I cannot complain. And I would like to thank also Dr. Webb for giving uh, me this opportunity to also share my story. I'm a um, black woman and it was very hard for me to be successful um, in the United States. And um, I'm taking that opportunity today to add myself to his uh, YouTube channel and then um, to share my story. Like he said, everybody has a story. At the end, the most important is to become successful. Um, so, Again, shout out to um, Dr. Webb. And if you have any question, please visit his um, YouTube channel, which is very instructive.